Welcome to Jetta's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make cake balls. They are easy to make, stay a long time in the freezer, and can be ready to take to someone's house or when some unexpected guests show up, you have a bite-sized treat to serve them. Let's get started. You can use any prepared cake. This is from a box mix and I have added a mint extract to give it a different flavor. Instead of mint, you can use an almond extract. I'm gonna cut the cake into pieces and then crumble it into the bowl. You can do the same with leftover cake that you've had from a birthday party or a retirement party. Just remove some of the icing. I've added mint to this and it'll taste more like Girl Scout Thin Mints. I'm going to mix some of this chocolate icing that I have just from the can into a bowl. I'm going to add some peppermint extract to it about a half a teaspoon. Mix it all around. I'm going to add part of this to the cake mixture. About two-thirds of the can full, so I won't be using all of this. And now I'm going to mix it with my hands. I want the icing to go thoroughly through the cake. You don't want the cake to be like a cake mixture down here. You want it to be more of a pasty. If you feel like it's more cakey like this, add a little bit more of the icing. You do the same process with a leftover cake, except take half of your icing off and then add more if you need to. Now I'm going to take a small scoop and I'm going to make little meatballs basically and I'm going to roll them in my hand and squeeze it and then put it on a tray. I'm going to do this and then when the tray is full I'm going to put it in the freezer. If you use rubber gloves as you're rolling your balls, they won't stick to your hands. If you use just your bare hands, they will stick and you have to wash them quite often. I'm going to stick these in the freezer for a couple hours or even overnight until they're really stiff. Then I'm going to transfer them into a plastic bag. I have transferred the cake balls into a plastic bag. They can stay in the freezer for two to three months. If they get a little ice or frost on them, wipe them off with a towel before dipping them into the melted chocolate. You want the cake balls to be frozen while dipping into the chocolate. I like to use Ghirardelli melting wafers. You want to place them in a micro safe bowl or in a double boiler. I decided to use the double boiler instead of the microwave method. I usually use the microwave because it's faster, but I want the chocolate to stay warmer for a longer time while I dip it. You can see how melted the chocolate is now. You want to dip the balls into the melted chocolate. I do three to five at a time. Swirl them around. Take it out of the chocolate and just lay them on a wax paper. If you want to add sprinkles for a party or eyes for Halloween, you want to do them while they're wet.
The frozen balls will help solidify the chocolate on top. Take these out before dinner party and they'll be ready to eat for dessert. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.